cleaning. One morning during my prayer time, I heard, remember the rules about gleaning. Gleaning? Rules? Huh? I went to the Word and found this in Deuteronomy 24, 19. When you are harvesting your crops and forget to bring in a bundle of grain, don't go back to get it. Leave it. Leave it for the foreigners, orphans, and widows. Then the Lord, your God, will bless you in all you do. I love that promise. But gleaning still wasn't clear. I went back to the Word and found this in Leviticus 19, 9 through 10. When you harvest your crops, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields. And do not pick up what the harvesters drop. It is the same with your grapes. Do not strip every last bunch of grapes from the vines. Leave them for the poor. I thought, right! God loves the poor. So God commanded landowners to refrain from maximizing their profits. But what has that to do with me? I have no fields, no grapes, not even a garden. I was still wondering as I checked my calendar. Oh, my field is my time. And I maximize my time. I schedule every last minute. I go right to the edge of my field. What am I leaving for God to use? How will I stop maximizing? And start making openings for God to shine through. The end. More at mindshifts.com.